And we're live. And we're live. All right, so for those of you watching at home, we've got a, a new shipment of, uh, of equipment. It's going to be kind of weird because I've got a horizontal camera over there and a vertical camera over there, so I'll be looking back and forth. But uh, we're excited. This is our new PA system. Um, we need the PA system for two reasons. Uh, we're starting to bring in other musicians into the studio and we need a way for them to plug in so that we can all kind of hear each other. And we wanted a portable type system so that when we go out and perform live, people can hear us. So the uh, system that uh, we've decided to use after doing a bunch of research, this is called the uh, Yamaha Stage Pass 600 BT and the BT stands for uh, Bluetooth, which means we can use cables or we can kind of go wireless. At least that's the idea. We'll see once we get it uh, set up. Um, in addition to the actual stage pass itself, um, I also bought some stands um, to put the speakers on. I bought a mic stand uh, to put the little, uh, the little control unit on top of, in addition to a, a little adapter. And I bought a carrying case that has wheels so that when we're uh, going out and about, instead of having to hand carry it, we can kind of roll it around. So you're here to see the unboxing, just like the rest of us. As always, uh, Dana's here, Don Goosh, to kind of help me out. I assume he's got his knife, like usual. Yep, he's the guy with the knife. So we can start unboxing. So we're going to start unboxing stuff and putting stuff together, and you're a fly on the wall, so to speak. So this is another episode of Behind the Tears and Smiles. So enjoy. All right, Don Goosh. Which one do you want to start with? Let's start with this big one. Okay. I think it might have the stands in it. That way, when we get to the uh, the other item, we'll have something to put them on top of. All this stuff was bought from a company called Sweetwater, and uh, the reason I like Sweetwater is they have great financing. This is basically uh, zero percent interest for two years, which is really nice. Stand, the mic stand itself. I'll start working on this. I'll be alright. Yeah. And I'm using all the same type of equipment that I already have in the studio. Uh, the brand name for this mic stand is called uh, Ultimate. It says on here somewhere. There it is. Ultimate Ultimate Support Systems. So it's got a round base to it. Cool. And the pricing on this wasn't too bad. I think all of this stuff together was about you know, almost fourteen hundred dollars. Which isn't too bad considering all the cool stuff. There might be another piece in there. Maybe not. Yeah, just open it all the way. Does it feel heavy? Um, or maybe it comes out of here. But if it's uh, if it's this piece, no, it's not. If it's maybe that small piece, unless it's going to it telescope be, out of here. It should be in there. It doesn't feel like there's anything else. There it is. Yeah, that's it. Got it. It does have like a little telescope. Okay. So what's it say on here? It says ultimate support. I don't know what the model number was, I can't remember. But we got it. See on here? It's traditional, re no, traditional reliable round base. Yeah. Here. Down at the bottom for the cable. Product item number 13461. MC 05B traditional mic stand. Okay, 
Just a tight loop, righty tidy. And so I bought an adapter we're going to find here in a little while, and then we're going to put the little control thing on top of it. All right. Next. Next. Speaker stand. Or maybe a tripod speaker stand, it looks like. Ooh. This is a nice, pretty case. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Alright, John, give me a little cut right here. Great. In case you're wondering, it's August 2018. Yeah, so that's nice. Comes with a nice carrying case. This is going to be the stand. Or the stands. Yeah, you grab one and I'll grab one. Awesome. on this is called on stage and again I'm using this because this is another brand that we're already using here in the studio yeah just pull it out it's infinitely adjustable so you can go so far that you're very close to back up again hmm. I assume those are just supposed to stay friction fit Oh, I see what this is. This goes in here in case you want to pin it. Pin it down so it doesn't fall. I'm going to just put it on that first one. In terms of that hole. Oh, I see. And then I'm going to lock it down with the dial. That way, that it's not the same. And this one was loose too. Yeah, I tightened that. That one will keep your spread from changing. Yeah. Okay. So the speakers are going to go on that for the PA here in just a bit. Very cool. I like the case. Look at that. Yeah. So some poor roadie's going to get to lug this around because I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> be the new mic that I bought. Some cable. Maybe the tote. Some candy. Yeah. Sweetwater Whoa. always puts candy in their boxes, which is kind of cool. Get it? Sweetwater. Sweet. Get it? Alright, so here's our candy from Sweetwater. Sweetwater. Nice thank, thank you. Note. Nice thank you note. The candy's the good stuff, though. Put <laughs> that over here. We need the candy later. Yeah. Unboxing. Ooh, I know what this is. So this is an SM58 to sure mic. This is the mic that I'm going to be using on stage. Uh, if you go online, this mic is really high rated for doing gigs and touring. Um, you can basically drop it off a tall building and it'll still work, so they say. So it comes very highly rated. So this is the one I chose to be doing my touring. Supposedly there's a little carry-on, carrying bag inside, so we'll see. And this is the uh, cable that I'll be using when I perform. Uh, this is a Mogami cable, Mogami Gold. Uh, they have like a regular silver and then gold, and the gold is supposed to be better better at transmitting the sound, better in terms of holding things up. So this is going to be my mic, my official mic cable as well. And then they give us a book because they because they want us to buy more stuff. We'll put that over here. And we, we won't look through it because that's that's probably not good. I'll open up the mic. I won't open okay. that out. Let's see what that looks like. The Shure 58. I 
Adventures Guide. Is that the cable, maybe? Here's my handy dandy little case right here. And the mics to this bubble wrap. And there it is. There's the mic. It does feel kind of heavy too. Like it feels like it's really strong. And then uh, this is obviously the part that sits on top of the uh, stand. And that goes in here. This is all I'm hoping to carry to the gigs. <laughs> right? Just like this. So, the mic. What's this? Oh, this is that adapter. This is the adapter that I was telling you about that we're going to put on here. Different size hole there. Let this comes off. Yes. Yay. buy something online, once you click on it, they show you things down below where they say, you know, if you're buying this, you ought to consider buying this as well. And so, this is a carrying case. Supposedly, there we go. I don't know how it works yet, but supposedly, this sucker is going to fit in here. And it's got wheels. And it's got a handle, kind of like when you are going to the airport. So we can kind of wheel this behind us. It's like a big box cool. that fits in a little. Exactly. <laughs> Why don't you cut that for us? Great. Trashola. So in a little while, you'll probably see us struggling to put it in here, but we'll figure it out. We're smart. I'll set this down over here. Yay! I'm going to move this box out of the way. Throw this on the floor. Don't get scared. There we go. Good it is, but, but 
gravity should do a pretty good job of keeping it down. Wow. You see the back of these? Hmm? That comes out. Yeah, I figured with this behind it. I think it's only on that one. Oh, this is like the master? Yeah, I don't think this other one's going to have that. I think that's the one that's going to go on top of here. something in here, but it's not the same as what you have. Well, if I'm standing, probably about probably here. Like Read everything. I'm glad I paid attention, you know, when I was ordering it. When they showed me those additional things at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They showed that the adapter and the mic stand. I was like, why do I need those? And then I read a little bit more. I said, well, it's for this. Otherwise, you're going to have to look for a place to set it. Right. And my view is that's just going to be the dedicated mic stand for that. So did you order these direct from Sweetwater? Everything's from Sweetwater. So is it just Sweetwater.com? Yes. Even this mic stand, everything. Nice. Well, they obviously have a very large catalog. Yes. I'm sure you can find just about anything you need. Was that everything? I think so. All right. I'm going to move the boxes out of the way, and you can start looking at the destructions. We'll see if we can figure out how to get this thing together. Oh, what are we going to start with? I don't know. Let's check it out and see if it tells us. Yeah, I think so. Everything else is other than the mic, maybe for itself.
probably on these cables. Oh, probably it's it is on the cables. It's a ferrite cord that helps prevent electronic yeah. interference. Let me sit right here real quick. This thing that looks like a detonator. <laughs> Very soon. Two detonators and two tabs. Yeah, it should be one for each speaker. How about if I take this chair and do this for you? Okay. More cables. More cable. I hope we're not going to need batteries or anything, because that's going to happen. I think it's all powered. Um, plug in. It says optional microphone can be conveniently stored in the accessory compartment. Cool. You might not have to carry anything. You might not have to carry anything. <laughs> It's a 20 footer so that I can run around the whole stage. Gummy Gold. So all my cables in the studio are Magami Golds. Let's see, we should be connecting these stage left and stage right, correct? I assume so. From the front, not from so the person on the stage point of view. You're telling me this is going to be right? That's right, this is left. Okay. Good. You get a lot of speaker cables so you can get separation. Obviously, we don't have the room in here for it, but on stage, it should be ready. So, meanwhile, watch the cords. All right. <laughs> now, according to the internet, when I was looking at this stuff, they were showing people setting it up. They kept bragging about how easy it was. So, so far, it seems pretty easy. Mm -hmm. We plugged two in there, and one there, and one there. I assume this is going to be power. Power maybe here to the stage pass is turned off. So, assuming that's on, that's off. Connect the plug on the included power cord to the Got AC it. in jack on the rear panel of the unit, which you just did. And I have a cord over the here. And the power cord to the power outlet. Grounded plug over there? Well, it's going into one of those power strips, mm -hmm. and then that goes into the. And that plug wall. is grounded on the wall? I assume so if the contractor did what he was supposed to. Yep. But that extension cord, does it have a ground? Mm -hmm. Does it have a three, three I don't point? I think it is. I might have one that is if I need that. 
Yeah, I think you're gonna need to get that because otherwise. Yeah, put that in there. Okay, yeah. let me change extension cords. Plenty of extension cords in here. Okay, so before we turn it on, that all of the volume levels need to be set to zero, as well as the master level to zero. Uh, and I assume that's probably something we're going to have to do every time, right? Make right. Sure everything's and zero before we. Right. As it. shift, they are. All at zero, and all of the green uh, knobs, which are your mixer level knobs, at um, basically neutral position at zero. These go from minus 15 to plus 15 on uh, your low mids and highs. There's also a reverb setting on channels one through four. Those are set at zero, and your monitor out is set at zero. We'll plug it in over here since it's got plenty of cord. Yeah, give it the most direct to house power as possible. Okay, if I plug it in or do we need to wait? For nope, it's power? ready to plug in. Alright, here we go. You're in. Alright, you want to connect the mic before we turn this thing on. So far, it is pretty easy, other than the fact I have no idea what all the dials are for. <laughs> They're all, the green ones are all mixing. So we're going to, so I'm picturing in my mind, you know, uh, plugging in guitars, plugging in mm -hmm. Z's piano, mm -hmm. whatever, my mic. What are the, what were these little guys for? Oh, glad you brought that up. So these are actually filters, more or less. So what kind of mic plug do you have? Uh, XLR. OK, looks like we have female here and female is at the other end. Yeah. So you can put it on mic line one or two. Okay. For these guys, we're supposed to make oh, a loop. Oh, we might need to tighten it up. Tighten it down. And somehow or another, there we go. They come open. It's a ferrite core. I'll snap them back around here. What does that do? It's supposed to prevent any electric interference, electronic interference, from around? right, from being picked up by the speaker. So <clears throat> your length of cord can pick up. Uh, you know, every electric line puts off an electromagnetic wave around it. You can't see it, can't feel it. Mm -hmm. Unless it's really high voltage and it'll make the hair on your arm stand up. And this is made to pick that up. Actually, it should be as close to the speaker as possible. So I'll cinch these up here a bit. And this is to kind of negate that. Okay. So you don't get buzz with your speakers. Test, test, test. Yeah. Oh, turn master level up. Try again. Test, test, test. There it is. OK. 
Okay, so something to know. Hello, world. <laughs> Master level needs to be up as well as that channel. So when we do this in the real world, we should probably turn the master up first and then this one. Probably. Okay. Yes, we'll feedback. Yeah, so we will feedback. That's because you're in such a yeah. close proximity. Okay, so that is working. Test, test. Wow, it's nice and powerful, too. Yeah. Go ahead, keep testing. Test, test, test. Girl, look what you've done to me. Playing with the reverb. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> test, test, test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Test, test, test. This is our Yamaha. I'm, I'm reading the box. Yamaha Stage Pass 600 BT. BT stands for Bluetooth. Brand spanking new. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Did you do something with those green knobs too? Yeah, I just increased. What's the top one? Uh, so it's high, medium, and low range. Okay. Okay, so be like in a, in a car, be like your tweeters, mid range, and your woofers. I got you. So, <laughs> so you so just, just put them all in the middle? Yeah, they all start out in the middle. I just raised your high just a little bit. Hello, so hello, hello. Get some pretty good bottom ends here. Yeah. And so I just raised your high a little bit. And Very cool. So how many instruments can we plug into this sucker? <laughs> So we've got four single channels and then three doubles, so it goes up to ten. Of course, these have different, wow. you know, connections. You've got RCAs here. You've got that. I forget what that's called, but you know those. So we're not going to have any trouble um, getting everybody plugged in. Shouldn't. Is this a battery? This is your Bluetooth. Ah. So that's the receiver. So if you wanted to um, say you were going to use this and you were going to use tracks. You could get your phone to play the track via Bluetooth to this, and it would play the music. Cool. And then you can sing over it. Very cool. So is that basically it? In terms of setup? It. So of setup. it is true on the internet, they kept saying how easy it is. So basically there's a, a cable to this speaker, a cable to that speaker, a cable to my mic, power, power. and uh, that's it. <laughs> other than making sure you have things turned on over here. Wow, that's pretty simple. Okay. I guess we can, don't need the mic anymore. Um, what we need to do is we need to decide how we want to set it up in here so okay. that when we're doing practice, it's ready to go. So for practice, since you don't have an audience and it's no important audience. that you hear what you need to hear, I would suggest that we turn those speakers toward players they'll act as monitors okay um, so does that mean we're gonna go on those two corners and face in or on those two corners and face in we're gonna have to do something that nature here, this is where all the players are gonna be yeah, right everybody's gonna be practicing over here yeah so I'm thinking maybe we, because you still need to operate the door mm -hmm. maybe we put one there where you stack those boxes mm -hmm. and then you put this one back in that corner over there, so they're kind of out of the way. And I think I have but enough room that I can slide over the refrigerator and those panels. I mean, there's plenty of room to slide all that over mm -hmm. and just stick that sucker right in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's what I would suggest. And then we'll put your head unit back here, and somebody will be, you know, mixing based on what they hear. Of course, the speakers will kind of be behind them, sort of, mm -hmm. so they won't get the best sound. But other yeah. than that, we could. This thing's movable, so we could move it out here. So when everybody's playing, that person is actually in front of the speakers and then they can mix and make it work. Yeah. That person might actually be able to maybe sit in the couch or sit in a chair if right. this thing goes down. Right. Okay, so um, let's do some uh, some moving then. Okay. So we're videotaping and we're going to probably have to move those out of the way. So we'll put those on pause and then we'll fire them back up. I guess it's kind of like part two. Okay? All right. Sure. One thing the book warns against is unplug from power source before you unplug from heading. Obviously, these have to be off first, too. Right, right. which I yeah. turned off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know why that is. It says that even when uh, even when everything's turned off here, mm -hmm. if you're still plugged in, there's a minor amount of power going to this unit, and so they suggest disconnecting from power source before you disconnect from the head unit. Cool All right, people out there in the internet world, we're going to turn off the cameras briefly because the location for the new speakers is where the cameras are. So where you're turn standing. You back on. <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> 